Doug Campbell. He owns three salons in the state of Florida, reopening just a few days ago. Good evening, Doug. Thank you for being here. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Uh, it's going well, thanks. Give us your progress report. What city are you in, by the way, in Florida, and how's it been going? Uh, Pensacola, Florida, and it's been going uh, really well since we were able to open. The, the hardest part was uh, not knowing when we were going to be able to open. Uh, we were told um, the governor made an announcement on Friday at 3 p.m. that we could open on that Monday. And we're the business that takes appointments and schedules people uh, made that a little challenging with that short of notice, uh, but we were able to pull it off. So we're, we're happy about that. Good to hear up on the panhandle. So, so give me an idea. Put me in the salon. What, what's it look like when I walk in? Well, when you walk in, uh, you're going to be met with one of our front desk people, and they're going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, if you don't have a mask, we're going to provide you a mask. Uh, we're also going to ask you to sanitize your hands. Uh, we'll send you to the waiting room where we have everything spread out. Of course, all magazines, anything that you could touch or multiple people would touch are, are gone. Um, and then you would go to the product, your, all your service pro, uh, providers and everyone else uh, would be wearing masks. Um, so that's kind of the feel. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's different. For sure. That's for sure. I, you know, I think about these challenges facing uh, so-called face-to-face businesses uh, like yours. You're working so closely uh, with your customers. Waiting rooms, you have people. Are you allowing more than one person to sit and wait for a, a, a hairstylist, or how's that work? Okay, so we'll let them come in until we, we've got a limit. Well, one of our salons is 6,000 square feet, so that one's got a little bit more room. The other one's 2,000 square feet. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, so as long as we can keep them socially distanced, we'll allow them in there. Other than that, we ask them to wait in their car, and we'll text them whenever uh, their, point, their service provider's ready. And we don't allow anybody to come with someone. They can't bring a friend. They can't bring the kids. Um, just we can't have that many people adding bodies and, and motion to the, the situation. Yeah. How's the business uh, been do uh, dealing with, with uh, the issue of, of COVID-19? Did, did you apply for a government loan? Did you get it? Take me through the finances a little bit about how you've been coping with all this. We did. We were able to uh, get the PPP loan. Uh, we're still waiting on our EIDL loan. Uh, the PPP was good. We were able to keep all of our employees uh, fully employed the whole time. They never had to do uh, um, unemployment, which was good, especially they've, they've had quite a problem. We know people that still have not received any money through unemployment. So we're fortunate to do that. But that kept our team together. We are able to communicate. We are able to do things. I did a lot of Zoom meetings. Um, so that was helpful. But uh, the process for PPP was confusing. You know, it was one of the new things. We were fortunate to be one of the first ones in. Uh, so that was very helpful. But then again, that's, you know, the, the, the unknown part of when you're going to be able to open and how long is the money going to last um, added to the stress to the situation for sure. Yeah. Uh, based on how I and, and a lot of people I know feel about their own hair right now, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of business coming up. We oh, yeah. wish you we've, well. been, we've been quite busy. We're <laughs> yeah. doing numbers like Christmas numbers, holiday hair numbers. If you know anything about our industry, fourth quarter is always the busiest. We're doing those numbers now. And people are just happy to be in there talking to their stylists and having the experience again.